you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I will be sharing with you all of my sixth graders independent reads and read alouds for the 2023-2024 homeschooling year so if any of you guys are new here to my channel again I'm Brittany I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls this upcoming homeschool year I will have a pre k -er, a kindergartner and a sixth grader so you guys I'm really really excited entering in our fourth year of homeschool homeschooling all of my kiddos and I'm really really excited about all of the literature that I have selected for Brielle for this upcoming homeschool year. So you guys, last year we really, really enjoyed using literature guides when it came to our uh, read aloud. So we really, really enjoyed like having like those juicy questions, really analyzing the literature. I really enjoyed bringing in like those literary elements when it came to our read alouds in like a really fun way for Brielle. So I'm definitely not going to shy away from adding those things into our read alouds this upcoming homeschool year. So I have selected four literature guides for us to use this upcoming homeschool year uh, to go along with our read alouds. Now as far as Brielle's independent assigned readers, I actually didn't have to do any of that work because we are actually using Oak Meadows curriculum and along with Oak Meadows curriculum, they actually already had a stack of independent assigned readers for her. So I'm going to briefly share those with you guys, all of the independent assigned readers that Brielle is going to be doing with her English curriculum. So the first one is Maru of the Winter Caves. She's going to be reading The Golden Bull. The Adventures of Robin Hood. And I think I forgot to share this one with you guys in my sixth grade curriculum picks, but she is also going to be reading this book as well. She's going to be reading The Rainbow People. The Ugly One. Castle Diary. The Shakespeare Stealer. The Eagle of the Ninth, and Once There Was, Twice There Was. So this is a pretty hefty stack she's going to be reading independently to go along with her English curriculum, but I'm really, really excited for Brielle because she loves literature, and I'm happy that that's one thing taken off of my plate that I didn't have to think about it. But you guys, as you know, this definitely isn't enough literature for my daughter. She loves books. She wants to become an author when she grows up, and she also told me she wants to be an English professor as well. So I definitely know literature is just going to be a part of her career and life, you know, just for her upcoming future. And I do want to expose her to as many diverse and different uh, literature as I can while I have her here in my homeschool. I really hope I am up to the challenge. So this homeschooling year, we are going to be doing seven read alouds. And again, like I said before, four of those read alouds will have literature studies. So we're going to start off our homeschooling year reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And you guys, I'm really excited about this one because we will follow it up with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe movie. She has never seen those movies before and hopefully she enjoys it. And I think you'll be a good fun start to our homeschooling year. The second book that we're going to be reading is actually Bronze and Sunflower and we're going to pair this along with Rachel from Where'd You Learn That Literature Guide uh, Bronze and Sunflower and you guys like I'm really really excited to continue to use Rachel from Where You Learned That Literature Guides. You guys they are so simple. I love how effective that it is. Um, you're really able to get those discussion questions and get all the meat out of the literature that you're reading but in a simple way. Um, a lot of literature guides are pretty overwhelming when it comes to the literature but I really love how simple uh, Rachel Rachel has her literature guys set up and they're very uh, easily attainable and it made it so much fun. We used her uh, first literature guide last semester when we did The Witch of Blackbird Pond and it was so much fun. So I'm really happy to use some more of her guides this upcoming homeschool year. Rachel, please don't stop making these literature guides. They're awesome. I know you're pregnant now, <laughs> but you have to keep on writing. Just promise us that because we are really, really enjoying them. So uh, that's going to be our second book. So Bronze and Sunflower, I'm going to briefly read to you guys what this book is about. And it says, Sunflower is an only child. And when her father is sent to a rural Candria school, she has to go with him. Her father is an established artist from the city and finds his new life of physical labor and endless meetings exhausting. Sunflower is lonely and longs to play with the local children in the village across the river. When her father tragically drowns in a freak weather conditions, Sunflower is taken in by the poorest family in the village. 
until Sunflower joined his family, Bronze was an only child too and hasn't spoken a word since he was traumatized by a terrible fire. Bronze and Sunflower become inseparable, understanding each other only as the closest friends can. Translated from Mandarin, the timeless story med meddlers beautifully through the challenge of poverty and the power of family, love, and loyalty to overcome hardship. You guys, Rachel, where are you finding these books first off? But I'm so excited about this book. Definitely a middle grade read. I definitely know we're going to hit on some touchy topics, but I'm ready for it. Brielle loves uh, literature uh, when they talk about hardships and she sees how, you know, the characters overcome them. So Bronze and Sunflower, you guys, this sounds amazing. So the second book we're going to read, um, so Bronze and Sunflower, we're probably going to take two months on it because this book is a little bit thick. So uh, September and October is what I have planned for Bronze and Sunflower. For November, we're going to read Ancestor Approved. Um, I actually had this one picked out for last year, but we didn't get to it, but it's perfectly fine. So with this book, we're going to do a Brave Writers Literature Guide for um, Ancestor Approved. I love Brave Writers Literature Guides. They're really, really different from Rachel from where you learned that literature guides. You really have to plan these ones out. Um, they pretty much just give you all of the information and you have to do all of the like the work behind it. It, which is perfectly fine. I have gotten used to using Brave Writer. I really, really enjoy it. I love picking out those literary elements. I love the big juicy question sections in the Brave Writer literature guides and um, they're really, really fun. So we're going to do this literature guide in the month of November with Ancestor Approved. Now for December, we're going to read a Christmas book. Last December, you guys, we read The Christmas Carols and this book was so cute. It was actually about a young girl named Holly Carroll who her and her family, you guys, they're like just the Christmassy family. They have like the Christmassy house, um, just all of the decks and the bells. And Holly starts a new adventure when she goes to public school because up until uh, fifth grade, Holly is homeschooled. So when they move into their new town, um, she really has to take on new adventures and um, she's trying her best to, I guess, fit into her new um, school. And one thing I really love about this story is that I love how they show the, um, I guess, the way Holly had to adjust to a new school environment. I love how they showed Holly, like, I guess, changing herself in that new school environment, but then finding herself all over again. Holly finds a really, a really, really good friend, Archer. And you guys, I'm not going to give too many spoilers, but it definitely was a great story in the and they didn't eat Holly's Christmas spirit, of course. <laughs> but this was a great one. And I'm sharing this one with you guys because um, this September, they are going to be releasing the second book from this series, which is going to be called The Christmas Carols and The Christmas Competition. So we're going to be able to follow along with Holly and Archer's new adventure. So um, this book, if you're looking for a Christmas book, this one was such a good one. Uh, definitely seasonal one. Of course, you know, I was crying at the end. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we are going to be reading part two of this one uh, for Christmas time. So that's going to be our December read aloud. For January, we're going to be reading Inside Out and Back again. And I'm really, really excited about this one. No literature guide with this one. We're just going to simply listen to it on Audible. For Black History Month for February, we're going to be uh, reading PSB 11. And again, no literature guide. We're just going to be reading this one and enjoying it for the month of February. For uh, March, we're going to be reading Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. And we're going to be doing, again, another literature guide from Rachel from Where You Learned That. So I'm really, really excited about this one. Uh, fantasy, so um, kind of like when we get into that month of March where it's kind of like still cold, still kind of getting a little bit warm. We're in like that a homeschooling blues. Hopefully by adding in a fun literature guide and a new book, it'll kind of like get us over that little hump when it comes to like February, March. For um, the remaining of the school year, we're going to finish it off by reading Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and we're going to do a Brave Writer Literature Guide with this one as well. So you guys, this is like my lineup when it comes to all of the literature that we're going to be reading for the upcoming homeschool year. As you guys can see, I have like a little schedule going on and hopefully I can kind of like stay with the schedule so we can kind of like follow along the seasons when it comes to like our read alouds. I'm really, really excited. I'm excited about all of the different perspective and voices that Brielle is going to be reading this upcoming homeschool year. And I can't wait to come back to you guys with our end of the year like book review, sharing with you guys like all the books we've read. Now, I still haven't did my end 
end of the year book review for the 2022 uh, 2023 school year and if you guys want to see all the books that we read and our favorites I definitely will um, make that video for you guys in helping you pick out your you know read aloud selections and your readings for you guys this upcoming homeschool year so you guys as always thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye